I want people in our simulators, working re-entry scenarios. I want you guys to find every engineer who designed every switch, every circuit, every transistor, and every light bulb that's up there. Then I want you to talk to the guy in the assembly line who actually built the thing. Find out how to squeeze every amp out of both of these goddamn machines. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. Gene, we have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. We had a CO2 filter problem on the lunar module. Five filters on a limb. Which are meant for two guys for a day and a half. So I told the doctor. They're already up to eight on the gauges. Anything over 15 and you get impaired judgment, blackouts, the beginnings of brain asphyxia. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. The ones on the limb are round. Tell me this isn't a government operation. It just isn't a contingency we've remotely looked at. Those CO2 levels are going to be getting toxic. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Rapidly. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs, handed us this one, and we got to come through. We got to find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. Using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay, okay, let's build a filter. The deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. That's people will not comment. Go, 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 go. Heads up, people, look out now. What's this? That's what they gotta make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me. Right here. That's it? Affirmative, Andy. Uh, Jack's got one right here. Okay, we have a uh, an unusual procedure for you here. We need you to rip the cover off. I want you to rip the cover off the flight plan. With pleasure. All right, now the other materials you're going to need here are uh, a lithium hydroxide canister. Two, two, two lithium hydroxide canisters. I'm sorry. A uh, roll of gray tape. Duct tape. A duct tape. You need an LCG bag. Two LCG bags. What about their level of carbon dioxide? It's uh, climbing. You're, you're saying that they're almost out of breathable air. No, wait a second. Wait a second. That's, that's not what he said. He said we're working. You want to cut the duct tape three feet long. Uh, just, just use your arm. It's a good arm length. Oh, okay, Houston, I see what you're getting at. Hold on. Okay, Jack, tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise. All right. Hold on, Houston. While the astronauts appear to have enough oxygen to keep them alive, one thing they have too much of is carbon dioxide. With each breath, the three men expel more of the poisonous gas into the lunar module cockpit, and the scrubbers intended to keep the atmosphere breathable are quickly becoming saturated. <laughs> oh, shit, I tore it. Shit. Uh, Houston, uh, what do we do if we uh, rip the bag? Can we tape it? They just tore the bag. Oh, no. Uh, stand by. What you tell the bitch? Well, oh, bitch, one more bag. But so they've still got uh, a long way to come, and they are now working on their backup facilities, their emergency facilities, and the problem is, if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble. Filters in place. Roger. Suits are relief to close. CO2 canister. Select to secondary. All right. Here goes. I can 
can hear air moving. Just bring normal fellas. Aquarius, uh, please advise the CO2 status. Ah, uh, yeah, Houston, we're taking a look at those numbers right now. Uh, we're still holding close to 15, Houston. Roger that, standing by. Houston, the CO2 level has dropped to nine, and it is still falling. Yes. That is good to hear, Aquarius. And you, sir, are a steely-eyed missile man. 